I'm here with my colleague, Yvette Harrell from New Mexico, who's a freshman member of Congress. We're thrilled to have you in Congress with us. Uh, appreciate the opportunity to talk with you today. You know what? I'm excited to be here, and it's just my greatest honor ever, and I'm having so much fun serving with so many great patriots in Congress. Well, I want to talk with you a little bit about an issue that I think is on the minds of most Americans, and that is what's going on at the border. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about it from your perspective, because you're in a border state. Yeah. In fact, I represent 180 miles of the border between America and Mexico, and it is just a completely different reality of what my constituents deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, and it's because of the inaction of this administration. And what you don't hear on the news is the loss of property damage, the loss of livestock, livelihoods, um, the cost. I mean, people are coming through the border because now that the border wall construction has ended, we've kind of created a funnel situation. So we have three-quarter mile stretches where there's no wall whatsoever. So this has created a funnel, if you will. And the people coming across on the New Mexico border are not always the families and have the shirts on that say, Biden, let me in. These are, these are MS, uh, MSN 13 gang members. These are uh, cartel members. I mean, these are the people dressed in camouflage with their mm -hmm. faces painted black. And what's happening is Americans that live in and around the border are unable to leave their children home alone are unable to go out after dark to check livestock, to check water lines, because there is such a threat for their personal safety. It is incredible that this administration would turn a blind eye to placing the value of American lives over those coming here illegally, and we continue to incentivize those to make that dangerous trek through a number of countries to get here. I want to pivot here, uh, Yvette, and talk about um, a bill you've introduced mm -hmm. that deals with something that, that's on the minds of a lot of people, and that is the health condition of, the, of these people right. coming across the border, particularly in regard to COVID. Yeah, we introduced early on a bill called the PAUSE Act, and what that bill did was it will keep the Title 42 health order in play, um, and basically Title 42 allows our Border Patrol agents to expel any of those coming here illegally through Mexico or Canada. They can do a quick process on the border. It takes about an hour and a half to two hours, and then they can expel these people. The reason we thought it was critical is because here we are, a country in a pandemic. So the nation had not been opened back up, and this was introduced back in actually January. And we knew people, and still to this day, people coming across the southern border, any of our borders, we're not sure if they have COVID, have been exposed to it, or any other infectious disease. So the idea behind the PAUSE Act was to allow this exp uh, the encounters to um, illegals to be expelled just by virtue of the health order mm -hmm. until our nation opened up, until all the mandates were lifted, until travel restrictions were lifted. And we have a number of co-sponsors, and right now we're, we know the importance of this particular bill, so we have a discharge petition on the House floor right now. I think we have 98 members who have signed it. So the bill simply says we would like to do an equivalent to an FBI background check from their country of origin or any transit country. So at least let's find out who we're letting loose in the interior of our nation because this isn't, just because people don't live in a border state doesn't mean they don't have a border problem because they do. With Between the illegals now being pushed into the interior in the hub cities and the illicit drugs that are coming across, this is now America's problem. Well, we could talk about this for All hours. Day. Yes. But I really appreciate you joining me, uh, Congressman Vet Harrell from New Mexico. Happy to be here. Thank you for inviting me.